This is amazing. I love the the idea of the recipe. I just love it. Wow. I completely wow. Ooh. <laughs> this is good. Wow. Hey Ivan, how's it going? Darby, pretty good, pretty good. How are you doing with boss mode? Like where, where are you at with it? And I mean, it was amazing, yeah. So my my biggest, the biggest barrier that I have right now is I literally just need the blueprint. It's specifically, what what pulled me in is the ability to write a book. It's what you did mm -hmm. that Sunday. Like you did it in one day. Like that's what I, I want to know how to, I want to get familiar and comfortable with staring Jarvis in the right direction and get what I need done, done. You know what I mean? Right. Um, do you have access to the, I mean, you, you're on these calls. So I mean, you're, you've got the, the 97 a month membership, right? Correct. Here. Correct. So you've got access to the full like course material. I have the, I, exactly. And, and I know that's another thing. Th this is me being on this call is just to see if I could pick up a few tidbits and stuff. If it's just you and I, I mean, I asked, we just cut this off at the 30 minute mark. I had another emergency kind of client call that came. Yeah, no problem. Um, but we can, we can cover a lot of ground really quickly um, with, sure. just, with just me and you. So have you, have you explored using the, um, that well actually before we dive into the templates what do you specifically want me to write a book about right now okay so the book that i'm writing um it's okay so it's a series first of all it's a series of books this first one though mm -hmm. is dealing with the advantages of arguing in a marriage so the intuitive thing is hey you know let's try to avoid uh, confrontation and arguments as much as possible, right? Mm -hmm. Well, my approach is the more you argue, the healthier your marriage is or the healthier your relationship is. It's about framing the argument and controlling it. It's, it's the problem is that the, the arguments are usually out of the both parties involved, or at least one person is out of control. And that's where the damage comes from. But if you argue, because, you know, think about the concept of arguing a lawyer standing up and arguing his point in the court of law. It's that's kind of the approach that I'm having. It's okay. argue and argue often, right? And it's the parameters that you want to put around that argument that will get you ahead uh, on the other side of that argument or on the other side of that conversation to make, make the relationship stronger. That's kind of like the clickbait-ish title um, mm -hmm. that I want to use, that, that, that whole concept in order to teach that thing that I just explained, basically. Have you have you worked at all with the uh, the nonfiction outline recipe? Nope, okay. not at all. I think that's probably the best place to start. It's, that's what we typically work out of whenever we're doing these, not just these calls, but you know the monthly challenges that we do. You do have a boss mode account, so you should have access to the recipe. Yes, I do, that I do. Go ahead and just kind of pull it up right here and kind of give you like a crash course on how to use this for your specific use case. When we're pulling up this recipe, the thing to understand, right, especially in any context with using Jarvis is it's all about the, um, the context that you're giving it, right? You know, you can say it better than me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to answer these series of questions here. Um, when, when, I, when I say to start speaking, I'm going to use like this voice dictation so that you can fill out the content brief, yeah. like the what, where, why, who, when, and how of what you're trying to accomplish with the first book in this series of books. Okay. I can th start with the end in mind. What is your reader's current pain point? Like what's their hell? I, what, what problem are they stuck on right now that their hair is on fire? And what is their ideal outcome? What is like the heaven island that they're looking at getting into? Does that make sense? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I'm going to put on <laughs> the voice dictation and that's going to start populating the content brief and description. So just in order from the what all the way down to the how, um, based on these prompts, start um, just as if you're talking to, to me on the other side of a coffee table. What is this book about? This book is about reframing usual damaging conversations in any given relationship. Yeah, so you've got that. What is this book about? Great. Now, where does this book apply? 
So looking at the second question here, right, where, where does this concept that you're going to be talking about apply? Like ah, I see. Got it. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, that, that entire recipe is for, is just to fill in the, uh, the description brief. This is. Got you. Okay. Understood. Okay. I got you. This is an essential recipe to avoid the inevitable gradual decay that takes root in a marriage that it, uh, you know obviously i'm looking at this it's probably not the cleanest language for jarvis it's it's fine just just the way you're speaking it I would, this is kind of like a habit of like the more you speak to it and get the content brief built out like this we'll see how it works and you can keep modifying and tweaking it as you dive into it i just want to kind of go through this exercise once with you so you get used to like filling out the content brief in this format Nice. Okay. So when we're talking about why, why does this matter? Tell me why does this matter right now? This matters because I have seen far too many healthy, prosperous relationships fall apart over time for seemingly no reason, period. The old adage of we grew apart is a myth, period. <clears throat> cool that's the who when and how this is a concept that should be applied before one gets married comma and during any relationship period how will this happen this will happen by systematically applying some counterintuitive steps in your day-to-day -day interactions Cool. We've got a little bit of space left for this. Um, I'm assuming you don't have a title picked out yet, or do you have a working title for it? Uh, for now, the working title is Argue Often. Voicing this stuff out. Um, just to kind of cap this off here, um, celebrity-wise, maybe famous person, influential um, person in the space who would resonate with your tone of voice? Brene Brown? What are some adjectives you describe? I would say caring. If I had to add another one, it would be witty. Cool. So what I like to do, I'll just rephrase that, is take kind of like this book is about the general idea. Yeah. Uh, so say like of reframing usual damaging conversations, any given relationship or, or marriage, right? Just so Jarvis has that. Um, okay. Like this general idea here. And because you know, this will kind of be the copy and paste that we can add in down here. Um, this is where you start giving different mm -hmm. ideas for book titles, right? Gotcha. And when we're going through this and we're using this template, the first go around should not be, let me see how perfect it can be. It should be how many like ideas can I generate to give okay. me what I'm looking for here, how to stop ruining your relationship, stop talking, start communicating. Yeah. See so like oh, different ideas yeah. to maybe spark. Yeah. What are some ways that I could look about this? Is it him or me? And it's about having a healthy relationship. And you'll see that Jarvis, because it knows that we're talking about a book in terms of generating title ideas, you've got an unlimited amount of ideas that you can start to generate and just brainstorm with, right? And Jarvis could use yeah. some crap, then delete it and then rerun it. Yeah. I love this. The longer paragraph that I just saw uh, below. Yeah. Scroll down. Yeah. That. How did you generate, was that still when you were running the title option? What'll happen sometimes because Jarvis recognizes the pattern in yeah. the boss mode is that it's pulling like, hey, when you when you talk, I don't hear you, how conversations fall apart and what we can do about it. Yeah. And so like Jarvis is taking the patterns of like, okay, these are titles. And this is where some of the gold can come out of it, like on accident. Yeah. You want to be aware of. So like what it started doing was saying like, okay, if this is the concept of how to help a healthy relationship, it's starting to give some summary of what these chapters might be about right here. And so if you like an idea and you want to continue to see where drivers is at, I would just go ahead and click the, um, the three asterisks. So it doesn't look above. And so now what it's doing is it's saying, okay, I know that this book is here. This book is here. The chapter, the third chapter talks about this. The author says this. Yeah. You see that, Derby? You see that first thing that it says? The author provides... A few scientific reasons why argument strengthens your relationship when you have an, this is amazing. Yeah. So basically what you've got here is kind of like a book blurb or a summary that, that you could kind of turn into. 
and yeah. in terms of like, hey, this is what I am writing about, right? Say like, okay, we got what we wanted out of that. I know what I'm looking for, but I want to keep brainstorming. I want to keep refining the description, the blurb of the book. Yeah. You just come on down here to the book description and you can refund the book description. And so it's kind of giving you like, okay, this is like an overarching idea of it. It might not necessarily make perfect sense because, yeah. um, you know, it was pulling when I see sometimes when you paste in here. Mm -hmm. It uh, it was only pulling initially from this, so I just deleted it and repasted it. And then it posts this book is about reframing usual damaging, and you know it's pulling that directly from the yeah. concept here. It's a central topic yeah. to avoid these decay. So it's taking a lot of what you've already written here in the description and kind of rewriting it in that form. But it then says if you want to fulfill a relationship from the ills of gradual decay, buy this book now, right? And so yes, yes, there's like your bit of like the hook to it. You know, right. But like, if you're going to start this hook off, you know, you might say like, Hey, does it start with a compelling story about you? Like your stories about X, Y, or Z, you know, a personal story about how you've gone through experiences with maybe like your significant other yeah, and all yeah. of that, just to kind of, again, give you a bunch of different ideas. You can go a lot of directions with it, yeah. you know? And so, I mean, this is pretty well strung together thoughts here in terms of, you know, I love the, the idea of the recipe. I just love it. I mean, this is giving like a lot of really solid content, you know, in terms of just like building blocks to get from, right? And I like to look at Jarvis and just what we're doing with this, these recipes in general, it's like playing with Legos just in like a different format because each of these different building blocks can go into different sections of the book. You keep in mind while you're doing this, you can also reapply them and repurpose them for your marketing material, putting yeah. together like press releases, shocking fact to a higher off and how you can make your marriage stronger you know, by arguing why you should do this. And so while this isn't necessarily giving me like shocking facts, what it is doing is basically giving you like a bunch of different blog post topic ideas. And so like now, you know, while you might maybe, maybe some shocking facts, uh -huh. you might say the case for getting divorced or, you know, just reframe some of this stuff and understanding the roots of anger and aggression, you might say, okay, like maybe there's like some significant statistics that people don't want to believe in that you know are is the leading cause of like marriage or like the leading cause of divorce in marriages or x y or z you know it's a myth that it's actually an old wife blah 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 it's an idea is that the most common cause of the marriage is just because people grow apart this is a myth because it's actually an old wives tale it's important interaction with your arc or you know so i mean again doesn't know that jarvis isn't going to be a marriage counselor but it's got an idea <laughs> because there's plenty of content out there on the internet about what it's going to be looking at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I want to see what it's doing here. And punctuation in this example. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. You're just mad. I mean, this is pretty on point though. Mm -hmm. Those those very short uh, bullet points that, uh, that it just generated, those are very good ideas for like quick YouTube videos, quick blog posts. Yeah, get a good idea about who it's for, but also keeping that in mind, you want to identify who the book is not for. But this is such a good launching pad. The book is not for those who just want to be right, right? Like I would have to probably go back and and tweak that. It's for those who are looking for the right, the right thing for the yeah. for the relationship, not not you, your point being right. Right. So, I mean, like, if that's the case, you already know the direction, then just add in. This book is not right. for those who just want to be right. This book is not those who just want to be right. It's for those who are interested in strengthening the relationship, whether it's before yeah. marriage or after it. Right. And so now, because of a little bit more context, Jarvis is going to take that and kind of continue to run with it. Yeah. Wow. It's wait, wait, wait. Cool. Jarby, could you scroll down just a little bit? Right there. Hold on. Let me read that. Some skeptics would say that this idea is way too theoretical and they don't believe it's possible, they might also say it seems like the concept is geared more towards people who are in arranged marriages. Darby, you want to know something? I, this, this is freaky. In my research, do you understand that arranged marriages actually have a 90% success rate? Wow. And yes, and traditional quote-unquote you know, Afro-American or American European marriages have unfortunately now is over 60 to 70 percent divorce rate. So that's that's interesting that Jarvis by itself came up with the arranged marriage 
I completely, wow. Dude, that would shock me, right? If we're talking about a shocking fact, so I'll actually delete that one and come down here. Like, yeah, I had no idea that arranged marriages would have. Um, yes. Yeah. Talk about the shocking fact. Like, did you know that, you know, you know, opening up the book to say like, you know, the chances of you actually having a successful marriage if it's arranged are 30% higher. Ooh, <laughs> this is good. This is where you can dump, dump in with your story a little bit more. Yeah. And then once you know all of this, then it's all about just like building out the book outline. You know, good. This like, is good. wow. Reframing the book on marriage. Let me see. Actually. Oh, this so is... now you've got, you've got either like six different blog posts or you have an introduction. You've got six chapters and then you have a conclusion and then you have a book. <laughs> Magic. Okay. Magic. This is ridiculous. In 30 minutes flat, less than. Yeah, 30 minutes flat. You've got yourself 3,500 words um, yeah. in terms of topic and content that you can use to kind of build off of. Um, let me do this real quick. I'm just going to dump all this in a document real quick. I oh, appreciate that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to have to do better with the content description brief thing. It's <clears throat> well just take it and modify it right um yeah it's all about testing and seeing where the inputs and outputs are yeah um, yeah oh this is sick this is not this is not right because that means you can get your book done quickly and then now you have to deal with the marketing side which is never fun <laughs> yeah but the hardest part is just getting the book out right so i know i know you guys need to come up with Jarvis 2.0 that does the marketing for you on Amazon and everything. Yeah, it's just everything for you. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to share this with you in a document. Um, okay. I'll share it with you right here, right now. Got it. All right. Please go ahead. <laughs> I'll let you go. Right, Thank man. you so okay. much. That's awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll see you next week. But uh, yeah, just, uh, just feel free to shoot me a message if you have any questions. All right. We'll do, Darby. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Bye.